you were telling me that this is your seventh time uh, running this. Yeah, sure, it's true. Eh? Seven yeah. times, and I've been missing this uh, for a long time, yeah. and, and I've been relaxing, not training. Eh? Yeah. Yeah, I only train when I need to participate, actually, so yeah. But how has this been like? The vibe has actually been quite different. No, the difference, it was too hot. We start uh, very early, one yeah. o'clock, and yeah, it was very hot, but yeah, we've done it, actually. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. No, Stephen, no there's someone else, I mean, who did not run around with us on the streets, but was running in one sport. His name is Kenneth, and I'm going to speak to him now. Kenneth, thanks so much for your time. I see you still at it. Yeah. Tell me the reason behind you running in one place. Uh, for me, it was more about when we went on lockdown, yeah. because I wanted to stay fit for comrades, so I started with what I call spot running. Yeah. And uh, yeah, a year later, I've done the 90 kilometers on the spot. And this year, when they talk about the Daredevil run, I said to myself, I will do it on the same spot. Same spot. Yes. How important is this run for you? It's very important because a lot of us men are not uh, uh, well informed about the prostate cancer. So with me, it was more or less create awareness. And uh, after a year, I will take it back to some other guys whom we can get tested. All right, sir. Thank you so much for your time. Good luck there. I mean, you can see, Stephen. I mean, he's, yeah, he's very strong and he's doing very, very well. But the message here from everyone that I've been talking to, Stephen, is that us as men, we need to take responsibility for our own health. You see, those guys, Stephen, are getting ready to hit the streets of Johannesburg. Stephen? Marlon Gelo, I mean, the, your last guest looks like he's just warming up, frankly. Um, it is very hot there. I mean, if it is hot and it's hot in Joburg today, uh, you're probably dressed in the right thing for a race like this. I'll tell you this. Earlier, I felt like, you know, I could actually go into a swimming pool and not run and just go swim. But uh, I had to actually 